Hello, all my mystic friends. Welcome to your mystic affirmations for Tuesday, June 23rd of 2020. Many blessings to you all. This is our positive energy reset. The affirmations are for us to bring ourselves back to center and help us to rebuild our our platitudes and allow ourselves to be in a place of focus and positive manifestation for our life. This is a beautiful energy and a beautiful way for us to come together. Thank you all for being here. If you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. If you'd like to watch any of the other readings I do, if you've never been to this site before, welcome. I have a lot of different readings that you can scroll down. Click on my eye icon on the bottom left corner if you scroll down to where the description is on the video. And you can also join my channel as a member. If you click the button to join, it'll tell you all about the membership options. Here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine, for your presence. I hope everyone is doing well. We had some pretty good uh, rain here in Texas, but it did bring a cool front of all things. It is uh, supposed to get down into the 70s tonight. It is actually my... Uh, it's very close to 70 right now outside, so I think that's pretty awesome. We have the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is our timekeeper. Three days, three weeks, three months, third time the charm. It means a repetition of three. So uh, it is the closest I have for a timekeeper. That's my automatic go-to timekeeper. Uh, this was given to me by Spirit, and that's why I use it in this manner. We start off with our first card. Uh, the Universe is right here on top. The universe will show me the right path to take to, to reach my goal. Always a blessing for the universe to step in. And we just always have to be in a place of receiving and being open. Um, and we have empowerment again. That's coming up almost every day. I recognize and appreciate all that inspires me to, be, to feel empowered. Now, listen, we can give our power away all day long. This is something that is ours freely to give over to others and let someone else take the lead. However, when it's time for you to claim your power and to be in your own strength and guide yourself and, and follow your own divine instinct, sometimes our path is not aligned with another person. So you have to be the person strong enough to separate yourself from that. The situation will improve. This is always a good thing. We have lovely little dolphins in the background. This is a very, um, a very uh, aquatic uh, scene in the background here. Looks like she's on the sea floor. Beautiful energy. The ocean is always healing and wonderful, so I always love to see those cards. It, I don't know about y'all, but the beach is always... Uh, I know that, listen, everybody doesn't like sand in their crack. <laughs> And I certainly understand that. However, the salt water is very harmonizing and cleansing. So just if you can just put your feet in the water, you'll be all right. <laughs> okay. Realization. The frequency of realization supports the internal process of becoming aware of our heart-centered truth, as well as the external process of becoming our highest expression in this world. So this is the point where we we manifest. Realization is the manifestation of what our our goals are and they're actually turning into uh, the reality that we are in. They are becoming present. So this is a beautiful energy talking about bringing this energy in, the situation improving and bringing in your your ability to bring your own thing. Now this is really cool because the top card here says the ocean of life is lavish with its abundance. All my needs and desires are met before I even ask. My good comes from everywhere, everyone, and everything. There is plenty for everyone including me. 
The ocean of life is lavish with its abundance. All my needs and desires are met before I even ask. My good comes from in everywhere and everyone and everything. So this is very pos positive energy and matches this aquatic energy of the situation will improve. I accept my uniqueness. There is no competition and no comparison. For we are different and meant to be that way. I am special and wonderful. I love myself. It's one of my favorite cards. I accept my uniqueness. There is no comparison and no, com sorry, no competition and no comparison. For we are all different and meant to be that way. I am special and wonderful. I love myself. I do love myself. Listen, I had a hard time looking at myself <laughs> on the live thing because I have gained some weight during COVID and uh, I didn't enjoy looking at that. So I have gone on a mission to, <laughs> to be very physically fit now. <laughs> I went to the gym today with all my, all my mask and my, uh, my gloves and everything. <laughs> oh, I still love myself. I had to I had to keep saying that as I looked at myself cringing. Oh. Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands, which is the beautiful energy of being empowered. This is that energy of going and getting it and bringing it home. This is this is the queen. She is very much about action and bringing forth whatever it is she desires into this world. So this is she is claiming her empowerment for sure she is empowered and and capable we have the seven of wands which is standing your ground not letting anybody uh talk you out of your goal or not giving up this means hang in there S stand fast don't let anything move you it's on its way here and the three of cups so this is the energy of the universe pouring into your cup it's connected here. The divine energy of source is filling your goblet up through its own ability to do so. And it matches this three. So that lets me know we're right on target. So remember, no matter what's going on in your life, you are in control of how you feel about it. And as long as you're doing something productive in order to either change it or support it, that's all that there is to be done. And, and let the universe assist you as much as, as possible. Claim your power and know what your strength is, is in your choice to bring the energy of accepting and allowing yourself to be proactive and stand in your strength. And don't let anybody talk you out of your, your miracle and your goal. Many blessings to you all. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.